His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. Well, i just in the mood to talk about a certain little animal. Oh, good. As always. A strong feeling for cats is wombat, coming through. Wombat. Wombat. Strong feeling for wombats. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's just artwork of a wombat. Is that in the cat family? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> what is a wombat? Yeah, please explain. It's an Australian thing. <laughs> So, anyway, we're going down under okay. to, to Australia. And uh, there is this there's an artist. He does, like, chalk uh, drawing, stuff like that. And uh, he was commissioned by the city council to do some kind of artwork. So he went to practice, and he lives right at the end of his driveway. There's, like, a nice, quiet uh, railroad, railroad bridge. Okay. So it's, I'm sure it's very quiet at his house. But like on the, uh, it's like an overpass. So like on the wall there, he just painted, did a little, just practicing. He thought, we'll do a chalk. The rain's going to wash it away. If it doesn't, then I'll wash it off. But, uh, and then people just loved it. It was a picture of like, it made it look like there's a hole in the wall, like a broken hole. And there's a wombat back in there. Oh, that's creative. Out. Yeah. And he did a good job. So, uh, People started liking it, and there's this guy who's the like the official, um, what do you call it? the graffiti cleaner, graffiti remover is his is his title. And so he he was cutting grass, and he saw all these people out there taking pictures. So he, he went around the corners, and he loved it so much that he got a little can of uh, like this clear stuff and sprayed it on there that they use for cars. So it's very strong. All right. Are so you it wouldn't so wash away, it sounds like. It would not wash away. He thought, oh, we don't want to lose this because this is great art. Meanwhile, the other guy, the artist, his name is Jimmy. He came out a couple days later to wash it off. And it was all shiny. And he's like, he's out there with nail polish remover and everything trying to get it off. Of there. Oh, it no. wouldn't come off. <laughs> so they, they finally kind of met. And uh, they had a pretty good laugh about it. So then I came back and I found acetone, which is like nail polish remover, and that stuff gets everything off. And it didn't, it didn't even come off with nail polish remover. So then I was just stumped. I'm like, well, what do I do? I have to leave it there and work out. And I decided I would contact council and let them know what had happened. I was freaking out a lot because you can get in a lot of trouble. I mean, it's essentially graffiti. Although it's art, it's graffiti. It's graffiti art. Isn't it funny? He was all worried and nervous. Aww. He's obviously a rule follower. Mm-hmm. Even though he did put graffiti up there. It but is it was kind in of shock. I- yeah, it's kind of ironic that the guy responsible for cleaning up the graffiti is the one that made it stay there he forever. It. The permanent, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now it's like a little fam- famous little uh, landmark there mm-hmm. in Australia. Nice little thing to get a selfie by. Yeah, I'm gonna do it.